we're sitting at home, making some editing, checking my mails and stuff like that. So a colleague of mine sent me a message that I need to visit this restaurant called Tandem. And this is what I did. I took my bag, whoop, I went there. So, um, they serve something called uh, ragu. So ragu, it's a sort of bolognese sauce, which basically they braise the beef in it with sofrito. They give you the menu, um, they serve you some bread, and I asked the waiter to serve me the best ragu dish that they have. It looks very Mediterranean, very simple, they're not really that decoration. And I digged in, I tried the dish, and I really love the ragu. It, it have, uh, the flavor is really, really good. It's like a pomodoro tomato sauce with some braised beef inside. The spaghetti is a bit thick and they always serve it al dente. I honestly like it a lot. Uh, the dish was a bit heavy. I thought this was a winterish dish. And I think the Standem restaurant you definitely need to visit. It has to be on your list. Let's discover more the city and uh, let's see what could happen. Where am I supposed to go? Downstairs, yeah. following Garibaldi direction, yeah. Zolin. Today I decided to go for a metro art tour. Just go walk by the metro. Uh, you have a lot of nice uh, artwork everywhere. You have a lot of nice sculptures. And it's really something interesting. You can stay there for at least like an hour or two, you know, just exploring and checking the metro. And what's nice about it, metro is it's one euros to go in any direction. So it's, it doesn't cost a lot of money. It's much better than a taxi. You can get to know a bit more um, the city because it can really be very useful. When you go to Italy Naples and you go to any coffee shop, be careful. They serve the shot of espresso very, very hot. So I learned something from the locals. You just have to put a bit of coffee on the top, on the rim, and it pull it down and then you can drink it. So what is that? 